This is Riverwatch for February 15, 2019. Environmentalists say a federal court decision is an important victory in the effort to prevent the damaging impacts of gas pipeline construction projects. The court denied a motion from Sunoco to dismiss a lawsuit filed by the Delaware Riverkeeper Network over the company's Mariner East 2 pipeline project. The organization filed suit saying the company had failed to obtain the necessary permits for the construction and operation of the project under the Clean Water Act. The Mariner East 2 project has been plagued by problems and on February 8th, Pennsylvania environmental officials halted review of all pending construction permits for the pipeline. The federal EPA is being blasted for failing to adopt a maximum contaminant level for toxic PFOA and PFOS in drinking water. The Delaware Riverkeeper Network says the agency's recently announced action plan for dealing with the contaminants should have included the safety level because the science is fully developed to support the action. The Delaware Riverkeeper Network is urging the DRBC to make a decision to fully ban fracking, the disposal of frack wastewater, and water withdrawals from the Delaware River watershed for drilling elsewhere. During a recent DRBC meeting, the organization said the threat from gas pipelines and contaminants such as PFCs make water quality monitoring essential. We recommend that the Water Resources Program reflect a conclusion in the near term that fracking is completely and permanently banned as expressed by the petitions we submitted to you at the December DRBC meeting. A new coalition of groups in New Jersey called Empower NJ has released a report showing why Governor Murphy should stop all new fossil fuel projects in the state. The organization says 13 frack gas projects would increase New Jersey's total greenhouse gas emissions by approximately 30%.